In Syria, two bomb blasts hit the northern city of Aleppo today, killing two dozen people and bringing the violence raging in other parts of the country to an area that has shown support for President Bashar al-Assad. Syrian state television showed bodies lined in the street and a bulldozer clearing rubble from shattered buildings. Government officials put the death toll at 28, with 175 more wounded after the bombs went off near a military intelligence building and a security force base. A spokesperson for the Free Syrian Army said their forces were not responsible for the bombings. The opposition blamed the government for using the bombings to distract attention from attacks on civilians in other parts of the country. Activists posted videos online that show crowds gathered in several cities protesting the attacks. Many criticized Russia for its veto of a U.N. Security Council resolution last weekend that would have required a transition to democratic leadership and an end to Assad's rule. One video, which activists say was taken today in the city of Idlib, shows hundreds filling a street carrying banners and waving the flag of the resistance movement. In homes, government forces continued a barrage of artillery for a seventh day with reports of more killings and medical workers warning of a humanitarian crisis. Doctors Without Borders, which is barred from working in Syria, said in a statement that the Assad regime was denying urgent medical attention and using medicine as a weapon of persecution. Residents of homes have also warned of scarce food and medical supplies. Hevan Kako, spokesperson with the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, told FSRN that the shelling continues. The, the city and the area, these neighborhoods have been under bombardment, are under a complete uh, siege, and they cannot get anything from outside. And almost everything they have had already is running out. This, the humanitarian situation is very, it's quite miserable. Are people able to leave their homes and go out and get uh, supplies or food or these important medical um, supplies if, if they need them? Uh, not in the troubled area. Uh, they are uh, they cut out from everywhere. They cannot go out. They cannot come in. And the bombardment hardly stops. So they can't go out because they're not safe. They're not safe inside the house. They're not safe in the shelter. So... They, they they are just stuck there and they cannot move and they just have to look for the safest place if possible, if there is any safe place in the area. During the past week, residents in homes have described the rocket and mortar attacks. And now, do you know if security forces have actually entered parts of the city? Well, uh, it's, uh, they, um, uh, they are surrounding the area completely. It's this troubled uh, uh, neighborhood, Al Khalidiyah, Baba Amr, Baba Sida, uh, Karmel Zaytun. The, the, the forces are surrounding this area completely. And the excuses is by the Syrian regime that there are some armed people. But that is not an excuse for them to kill civilian people and bombardment and to carry on shelling this area. There have been disturbing reports about the effect of this attack on women and children. What can you tell us about how this is affecting women and children in the area? Well, uh, in this area, especially in Homs, there is no distinguish between women or uh, children or uh, elderly people because they are bombarded randomly. They killed completely in the attack because their houses collapsed in the bombardment. So. In terms of uh, bombardment, it doesn't distinguish because it's not uh, targeting a specific area where they, there is only young or active. It's, it's affected residents and it can be a whole family can be uh, targeted. Hevan Kako, spokesperson with the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, speaking from England. A global call for action on Syria continues to grow. Today, the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights said that the Syrian government officials accused of crimes against humanity should be referred to the International Criminal Court for prosecution. Activists said solidarity events for Syria would take place this weekend in several U.S. and European cities.